it's me Toffee Dog and I've decided to start a you walkthrough. This channel's gonna get so buried. Um, currently I'm doing the Pokemon Pattern walkthrough, but I've also wanted to start doing Zoo Tycoon walkthroughs because I love this game. I think it's a very underrated game that I really enjoy. So what I'm gonna be doing today is, as I mentioned in my vlogs, um, don't worry if you haven't watched them, is I like to do challenges with these. I like to challenge myself I like to place my animals in a more natural setting. I am currently playing on my laptop, which is on the desk, which is what, where my computer also is. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to first pick a biome. And then I'm going to explain the rules or what my rules are for this walkthrough. Because this walkthrough is very sort of interesting. I have so much fun when I do it my, by myself. And yeah, so we're just going to decide what biome so we have got grassland just put the camera I've got grassland savannah we're going to need desert because currently I'm doing a challenge on that but we will so I think I'm going to shut my eyes and I'm just going to scroll up and down this okay okay we've got grassland medium oh joy such a brilliant one to start off with. Right, so we're going to start grassland. And then I'm going to basically explain sort of my rules. Oh gosh, if I can remember them. Right, so this is because I play a little Pokemon, there's something called Pokemon Nuzlocke. This is sort of inspired by um, the Nuzlocke. So I don't know whether anyone else does this. So. What this is, is you choose a biome, any area, any size, but you have to leave as much room as possible. So put a fence around here because it will stop all those notifications about the animals escaping. So we'll just do that there and there. Okay, so this is what I've decided to create an easier version of the game. So what happens is you have to include every single animal from that biome. So luckily there's only two in grassland. Now what you need to do is, first thing first, you roll a dice to decide how many animals of each species. So obviously you're only get, going to get six maximum. If you want to involve more then times the numbers by two, by whatever you're doing. So you, I'll do that. And then what you need to do is when you place the animals, you can, so let's pick a bison. So if I place a bison, I can only place the piles of food here. Nothing in bowls, nothing, even the, even the pile of berries or even the logs. It needs to be sort of a natural pile. And when you uh, give them a water source, the water source needs to be like that, a lake. And what you do is you set out the animals, you can include zookeepers in this. But this is where it slightly gets different. With the harder one, uh, there are zookeepers. But with the easier one, like this one, I can clean up after them. I can help them if, them if they are ill. But if they are sick in the harder version, you do include zookeepers. But you don't do anything whatsoever apart from watch the animals. Hunting's allowed, so if an animal kills another one in either the easier version or the hard version, you can't help them. Because with this challenge, you're trying to create a natural um, sort of lifestyle. So obviously if you have carnivores in your biome, then you might want to have more herbivores. It's up to you. With the harder version, you're not allowed to interact with the animals at all, even if they're sick. You just leave it to your zookeepers or just leave it to nature. And... This is a problem I've had with the desert that I haven't d addressed. If they are drowning or if they are struggling, you can't lift them, lift them out of the water. You can't pick them up in any situation, easier or hard. Um, but you can add land mass and add water to save them if you want. But it all has to be natural. Uh, the rules will be explained in better detail in the description down below. But I thought this would be a fun walkthrough to do. So we're going to get started. So first off we're going to choose bison. You can, what I do is I pause 
whenever I'm building or adding animals and food I like to pause the game right <sighs> all right <laughs> free bison so it's landed on the number three okay so I'm gonna put two females because that way we'll have a better chance of now what I like to do is I like to spread them out I like them to be able to find each other rather than just putting them together automatically so we're going to put this one over here we're going to put the other female bison here give her some water so it's not an absolutely awful challenge or if you want to make it even more difficult <laughs> than the difficult one as I said I don't know if anyone else does this sort of thing then you can have no zookeepers and just let nature take your call its course even though that probably go downhill right we're going to choose some wild horses so free again ignore that notification um I decided to put notifications right for number three again so we're going to pick a random place on the map put some water, some hay and also setting up these areas helps them to move around more because if um, I find also if you give them all they want in a small area they're not going to wander about much another thing about this challenge is that what I forgot to say is inspired by the Nuzlocke you need to give them names all of them no matter how many you've got you can um, since we've only got six animals I am going to look up some names and actually give them some nice names so I'm just going to look up some names now right guys I apologize automatically uh, something has happened to the buttons but don't worry we can still play this game it's just we're going to have to use the mouse pad so we will name the animals next episode uh, you guys can help me name them we've got two American bison females American bison male and same with the horses so we're gonna you can see one over there so we're just gonna uh, oh yes zookeepers of course one of the most important things I have forgotten already uh, let's have two uh, they should be able to handle Oh, I'm going for the buttons, but they're not working. Okay, I'm gonna. All right, we're gonna clean you up. Oh, we can't because of the fudging buttons. Okay, so we'll have to rely on zookeepers. <laughs> Wallace can't reach American Python free. Well, maybe you should actually run, run. So we're gonna just go. Even though I know where I place the animals, we're just gonna sort of track them down this way. Find them. There's one wild horse right there. So as you see the whole area has been used apart from the very small bit at the start start at the entrance. I think that's our female. One of our females. Oh look, we've got a bison, he's run over to I have to check which one is he or she. He or she. So as I said, this is just a little challenge. I hope this walkthrough is interesting enough for you guys because you need grooming, girl. <laughs> oh, that wasn't funny at all. I don't even know I did that. Oh my gosh. So we we're at about doo -doo -doo -doo, uh, four minutes, uh, six, I'm not sure. Because <laughs> I have to, cause I had to film various smaller videos. Oh, typical bison always running off after. Oh well, okay, is this... Oh, you you cleaned yourself. Ah, oh, this is our boy. He's running away from us. Come back. Come back. Let's come back. Don't be angry at me. Oh, bless. Cute. You're cute. <laughs> Calling everything cute on this channel. Gosh. Oh my gosh, right. So, we've checked down most of them. So this is going to be our first biome and the only way this challenge ends is if all the animals have gone even if one species has been wiped out completely you need to 
stay in the game. I like to stay in this mode, like zookeeper mode. You can come out of it, but it's just letting everything go natural. Here's our male Bartles. Look at that. Look, look, look at that. That's happiness. Right there. Happiness. So after these walkthroughs will probably be about 20 minutes. I don't want them to go on any longer because again we have no idea what's going to happen. I don't know whether... Because if the walkthrough is quite chill like the first episode now. Then obviously it's not going to be interesting enough to make a whole half hour episode that people are going to watch. But it's one of the games I play a lot. So that's why I've decided to walk through. I've noticed not many people have. I kind of do understand why. It's a very sort of um, chill game. Unless you do the challenges. And I'm debating whether to walk through on that. Because I have gone through some challenges and completed them. But I don't know if I want to do it in front of the camera. Maybe potentially embarrass myself. Oh no, I do that on a daily basis on the vlogs. So that's okay. Oh my gosh, so we've got some batteries to the side so we're not going to have any problems like that again. We're just going to walk around. Uh, I don't think, I think the bus, yeah, the buttons are a bit. I don't know why I decided to stop parking. Just as I start filming. I think he's sleeping. His eyes are open. His eyes are open. His eyes are open. Well, we can get the names now. Oh, hold on. I think our three bison have come together. Look at that. Our three bison have already... <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't think they find each other this fast. It's only a medium land, but look. Two females that... Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, fingers. Oh, gosh, that's just ruined it. Alright, so maybe there'll be some babies sooner than we fall from the bison. Oh, they seem to get along okay. Who's that? Which one's that? Okay, we'll we'll find out. Uh let's see what Okay, we've grown off. Oh look. Gone? Here. Gone here. Gone here. Stop it. <laughs> ah. Oh no, you thought to the two girls? <laughs> oh no, she's run off. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> maybe she'll come back. Our male's woken up now. Oh, look at that sunset. You can take some really good photos on here. There is this one cloud, um, there was until I got the update put in, there was this one little cloud that if you went like, I don't know, I think it was like a glitch in the clouds. One of our zookeepers, just wandering around in circles. Brilliant, just brilliant to watch. Sometimes I'll be really silly and actually only move between grass patches as if I'm really hold on what's going on here what's going on here okay she's gonna go greet our male could these two be our pair oh no no maybe he's not too happy he's not a happy bunny bison the grass sign is definitely one of the less interesting ones purely obviously there's only two animals here uh i've got the endangered pack installed you as you saw on the starting screen i will install the marine one but i want to do a different walkthrough with all the different biomes and also with the dinosaur one i have uh i used to have them installed on my old computer but that got replaced with the new one so i don't I don't think I have Sea Tiger Dinosaurs installed anymore, but I will for the walkthrough. Once we get through all the biomes and once we get through everything, I won't check up on the desert one because I've been doing that through the vlogs. 
and the Fennec Foxes, if you've seen, have caused so much drama. They've been the main focus of that one. They're the ones that have caused everything. But there's a lot of the camels, so... Ah. Uh, this is so interesting. Oh, I want to do something to spice it up, but then I don't want to ruin it. Oh my gosh. Okay, they're together. Best buddies. See if the horses can come together. Hopefully, otherwise this... <laughs> we, we need some babies. Not, I don't think there'll be any this walkthrough, but... I meant this episode. Always getting words mixed up. Like, I always get stable mixed up with stool when I'm talking about my shike models and my shike horses. I always get those two words mixed up and I keep on forgetting about the buttons. <sighs> the keys, not the buttons. Oh. oh, no, I'm getting crazy. Oh, wait. Okay, the camera's focused. I need to panic. But it wouldn't pick up. Look at this interesting fence. Oh, we probably... It doesn't make any difference because people won't come in because of how close the gate is. We're going to close the zoo. We're going to close the zoo. Zoo, zoo, zoo. I, and I don't get rid of these because even though these are man-made things, I like to keep everything... Everything the same. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. Okay, so they've returned to this area, I guess. I guess? Uh, I might actually make this uh, playthrough smaller, shorter. Again, mixing up words, because obviously this is the first one. Not much is going to happen, but then... Mm. But I want you guys to leave um, comments in the comments just about things I could improve. Hold on, I think they're working again, the keys. I just want feedback on how to improve. I will get a capture card for my laptop and DS. Yes, uh, I can easily find one for the computer. It's quite expensive, but I can save up for it. But I am really struggling to find one for the 3DS. So if you guys could help, that'd be so much, so helpful. I wouldn't have to film with this camera. Obviously the quality will be a lot better. And that's what I want to do. I want to make the quality better. I don't want to do this forever because otherwise the channel's not going to move forward. But yeah, I think they're working again. Are they? Yeah, we, they're working again. Okay, we can name the animals now. Yeah, okay. Right, let's name some of the animals then. So all the names have been chosen. Our first American bison is called Emma. Um, because I looked up what are or supposed to be some popular American names. I know these, um, they are just, I know they're, they're called American Buffalo. So I thought I'd look up some, um, popular American names. The most popular or supposedly was Emma. So we've named one Emma. The other one Olivia, which was the second. And Noah, our male, who is... Well, no, is apparently my popular American name. And then with the horses, I've gone with a sim similar thing. We've named one of our horses Star, and another popular horse name. We've named one of the other girls Spirit. We, I, and we name I've named the male Blaze. So I'm not going to. This is going to be my apology for every single mixed-up word. Um, that happens. So if I say anything like we instead of I and stall instead of stable the other way around this is the apology for everything because I just do it so much. There we are. Who was that? I just missed that. We've got Noah here. At least that's going to be easy. We can tell who he is because he's the only male here. Oh, oh, yeah, he's run. He seems to run from everything. Every time he drinks, eats, whatever. Oh no, I think one of them's chasing him. Ignore that opinion. Oh, Dan smells good. 
<laughs> We're talking about dinner. I must concentrate on this walk through. So the bison are all together, but the horses are still spread out. But I believe one of ours is uh, venturing out. Let's see who this is. Who who is this one venturing out? No, we'll find out. See another one over here, so who knows? Oof. So we've got those two. Let's try and find the third one. Shouldn't take too long. Just... Oh, the American person have moved again. Closer. Who's trying to talk or communicate with Noah? There, another wild horse, very beautiful. I believe this is Star. This one here. I believe she's Star. 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 Is that even a name? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yes, because. Oh, but we're going. Uh, I'm going off on a bit of a tangent here again, but. Dinner. Vegetarian curry, one of the best meals ever. I'm not a vegetarian, but when I went vegetarian for a week to see what it was like, because whenever I voice my opinion, I always want to try something. So if I say I don't like being a vegetarian, I wanted to actually try it and say that I've done it, even if it was for a week. So I went vegetarian for a week. I did it over the holidays because I found it would be easier to do it over the holidays than during college. I think it was because the amount of food you keep, could eat was so much more than what I thought it would be because I thought it would be a real struggle to find foods I liked that, was, that were also vegetarian but actually it was easier. It was still difficult because I had to look at every package which wasn't the difficult part but there are a lot more things that contain meat or meat products than you think I mean I would love to <laughs> go vegetarian but currently I don't think my lifestyle uh, suits or I don't think I could be a vegetarian with the lifestyle I live <laughs> because my family we eat dinner traditionally all together and I wouldn't want mum to have to produce another meal because I'm vegetarian. Or green blades. Oh boy. Um, so that's the reason why when I'm out, yes, I would like to. But not at this moment in time. It doesn't mean that I don't care because I hate how the animals are killed. I know they need to kill a lot of animals to keep up with demand. But I definitely agree with killing them more humanely. I, I don't think everyone's going to become, ooh, I don't think everyone's just going to become vegetarian. I know that's what we'd have to think, but I just don't think it'd be possible. Uh, no matter what you say to people, there's always going to be those that eat meat. But it doesn't mean we don't care. It doesn't mean that we just eat the meat and don't think about it. We do. We just, it's food we like eating. So Emma is now pregnant. One of our bisons is already pregnant. Um, let me see, I've filmed about 15 minutes, so I've got about four minutes to go. So I've Olivia's just run off from her deposit. Um, I don't know, I can't remember how quick the bison pregnancy is. Maybe she'll give birth in this episode. Maybe not. A great way to start first episode. But at least it'll make it a lot more interesting. I've gone off on a type of couple tangents so far. On vegetarian, being vegetarian, or four week. And many other things. Okay, I've lost Emma. Are you Emma? Where's Emma? Emma, get back it. Okay, that was Olivia. That's for Olivia. Oh, there we are. Emma's here. I won't keep an eye on her since she's pregnant. Just... Make sure she's okay. I need to make sure. The seems to be getting along fine. Hopefully the wild horses will get up to sight because we're currently watching a lot of the American bison. Yeah, hopefully. 
You never know. But I probably will end up going on a lot of tangents because as I said, it's not because not a lot in this game goes on, it just happens to be with biome. But I'm going to get the most, not the most boring, but I'm going to get this one out of the way first. May not be the most exciting way to kick off the walkthrough, but I believe it's better than leaving it to last. I'd rather start it on this note than end it. It's either this or the desert one, or even the alpine one that isn't interesting. But when you install the dinosaur pack, the alpine becomes much more interesting. Uh, the grassland, not so much. I shall check. Oh no, not the dinosaurs. Apology, extinct animals. Apology. Uh, I've got the booklet. So, you've got other endangered animals. A really good expansion pack. But the dinosaurs are really hard to keep happy. And even when you keep them happy, if they get spooked or similar, then they can go on a rampage. Not a great look for you, Z, at all. But we're going to check how far she is. It's only been a couple of minutes. Right, so what I'm going to do, uh, because her pregnancy is about a quarter of the way through, but by the time she gives birth, it's going to be over 20 minutes. So we're going to end here with her glitching, disappearing. And the beautiful sunset. I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough. It's just a casual one I want to do to sort of make up for the Pokemon ones because the Pokemon ones are harder to film and to edit. But I hope you guys enjoy this. Gets you through to the next one. I still need to grind up the Pokemon. I do apologise. I will get the video out. And once the exams are over, then I'll be making more videos than just vlogs. Vlogs are not to fill up space but I wanted to keep um, the amount of videos more daily which is why I've, I'm doing vlogs. Um, it's to help the wait between all the holidays while I do the main filming. Uh, so I'll see you guys um, whenever for episode 2. Hopefully Emma will give birth to a beautiful boy or girl. We'll get to see a baby bison. I mean, it's a possibility Olivia could get pregnant as well. And hopefully the horses will find each other. So I'll see you guys in the next episode.